Hi, yeah, thank you for being part of all this. Thank you for turning on the DVD. Trust you're having a good evening. I hope you've been able to uh, find out where you're at, what's going on spiritually, how you've been able to talk about Jesus in different scenarios, what God's done in your life and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. And now we're gonna have a quick look at a few verses from scripture about how to receive the Holy Spirit. Great, let's do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. So it's in Luke 11 and it's, it's Jesus, uh, talking about receiving from God. He's done the Lord's Prayer, he picks up the bit about bread, and then he says that, that we can receive bread, and, and then he goes on to say, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. And as I was thinking about this, because I've done this talk lots of times, as David's just pointed out helpfully, uh, it's the Alpha talk, it's a great, great talk from Alpha, the best one, I think. And, uh, but this time I was thinking about the difference between asking and seeking and, and knocking, and how some of us just mm. simply ask and hold our hands out, close our eyes, and, and we're filled with the Holy Spirit. Some of us have to look a bit harder. We have to go on a search. Maybe we do uh, maybe a prayer walk or we, we dig into the scriptures or we, we have a, a way of praying a particular thing that attracts the Holy Spirit or we, we just hang around people who are uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. And, and Jesus says, if you, if you ask, you'll receive. If you seek, you'll find. What's your experience on that? Oh, so I was just thinking about the, the seek one because we're we're quite good at asking, you know, it's quite easy to have the yeah. right phrases, say the right sorts of things. Yeah. But for some people, it, it really is a journey and it really is a quest to kind of find God and to, to receive the Holy Spirit. And I think for a lot of people who are new to faith, a lot of people who are kind of coming from um, maybe slightly more conservative backgrounds and not, not really used to Holy Spirit stuff, that it, it is a real journey. Mm. And I just want to encourage you that if it's not something you're regularly um, interacting with, you don't get filled with the Holy Spirit and in a wild way, you know, some people shake, some people cry, you know, if, if it's not normal for you to do that, continue to seek, continue to go on yeah. that journey, keep keep following the, the path, keep asking for it, keep seeking, yeah, keep yeah. just pushing at that door. Yeah, and I, and I like the the idea of knocking at the door. You know, when you knock at a door, you're, you're hoping someone's seen you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're saying, this is me, is there anyone here? You know, do I need to do anything else? Is there something, and Jesus mm -hmm. says, no, if you knock, the door will be open for you. And, and I love the simplicity of that, and I love the rep repetition in that, you know, six times, ask, seek, knock, everyone who asks, everyone who seeks, everyone who knocks, uh, will receive, find, or the door will be opened. And, and Jesus is really sure that, that this is for you. You know, if you ask, you will receive something. And then, then he goes on to say, if you, uh, if you ask, you'll receive something good. And, and he does the bit about the, the father. And, uh, and, and if you ask for a fish, will he give you a, uh, a snake? If you ask for an egg, will he give you a, a scorpion? And I love what David Campbell said about this when Dave, he said, you know, in the father's house, he doesn't keep scorpions in the fridge. And, and that, that whole thing is just, it's just, just a good line, isn't it? That the father only has good gifts to give to his children. And, mm -hmm. that, and I think often we, we do get a bit scared. You know, we see God doing stuff and, and, and we wonder if it is God and, and we forget that actually God is able to give good gifts to his children. Yeah, absolutely. And so all of the things that, that um, Jesus says, are seek not, they all require a level of vulnerability as well. So mm. we can't just expect to keep our guards up, keep our boundaries in place, and and just God is going to just kind of remove them without us being vulnerable, without us, you know, taking the time and and revealing ourselves. So like Neil was saying, when when you knock at the door, you you are saying, "This is me. This is who I am." I just hope someone's going to open it. And mm. when Jesus confirms that he is going to open it, it allows our vulnerability to be clear and it allows us the, the safety and security mm. of knowing that when we ask for the Holy Spirit, when we ask to be filled with his power, it will happen. Mm. But we do have to you know, take steps ourselves yeah. as well. Yeah. And then he says, though you are evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. Uh, it's quite harsh in the middle of that, but actually I've seen some people who I've considered to be poor fathers who suddenly lavish huge gifts on their kids and of course it really messes them up and 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 Jesus says your heavenly father isn't like that he you know how to give good gifts father knows how to give good gifts if you ask you will receive something if you ask you'll receive something good and then he says 
ask. How much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit to, ask, to those who ask? And, and that's all we have to do. We are good enough. We don't have to build up to it. We don't have to go on a 40-day fast. We, don't, we just need to ask. And so I'd encourage you to do that tonight and find a way of doing that as a group, find a way of doing that for each other. And uh, just to ask that you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit and have a good time as you do that. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.